Hey guys, it's Brad and the Buff. I got my hoodie on my head or whatever. I'm ready to go. I'm out in Rothrock uh, State Park in Pennsylvania. I'm out here with my friends Aaron and Jeff, if they want to loosely call me that. Um, we're actually just car camping this weekend. I'm going to set up my hot tent. We're mostly going to hang out and we do have space heaters in there. So it's more like a fun, cheap weekend, but sometimes those are the best. You usually sit around and talk. So uh, pretty good ride in, weather's great. We got a little bit of snow on the ground. We're hoping we catch a little bit more today and it's supposed to be down the teens tonight. So we're gonna have a fun time camping, making some awesome food and just having a good time. So check back with you guys later in this video. Okay, here we are set up. See nice big open area. Let me show you what I got inside my tent here. This is gonna be my home for the next two nights. I got my hot tent angled out. I got my pad underneath. I got a box of wood to feed in. Got some scraps over here. Luckily I'm not in the wood, not having to saw anything down. Let me slip off my shoes real quick. So, give you an idea of the amount of space is, you know, I'll be sleeping like this. My head does pretty close to touch. I can scoot down a little bit so it's not, but I'll pretty much be touching with my uh, feet and my head just barely. I am 6'2", but on that, you know, even with it, uh, even with it zipped up, I have enough space to sit up. Um, you know, it, um, so not too bad. Um, there's my stove pipe coming in and here's my feet on the other side. So I got room for them. And I, um, I just have a quilt underneath of me and I got my main bag. Like I said, it is supposed to get chilly tonight. Um, you know, these tents don't like seal out. So as you're dragging in air and making it warm in here, it is going to pull cold air from the outside in here. But uh, I've got my 10 degree mommy bag. I got a couple quilts, so I'm gonna, you know, normally I, I'm worried about weight, but I, I didn't have to worry about that so I could bring all my gear out here. So I should be nice and toasty in the evenings and uh, just give you guys a quick view on the inside of my uh, Lux Mini Peak hot tent. We were hanging out in the tent, there's Aaron. There's Jeff. You can see we're living in the lap of luxury in here. <laughs> Pretty warm. Um, Aaron forgot his chair, but I gave him mine. No problem. <laughs> I, I write everything down and carefully put them in notes to make Document sure I have everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, we're just going to hang out. Good way to spend an afternoon. Sun's still up. What time? It's like 2 o'clock probably. 2.30. It's like 2.30. So we still got a couple hours before it starts getting... Legit cold. We have a, a backup heater, but this one is keeping it pretty sweltering in here now. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We're just going to sit, hang out, and uh, relax. Okay, we're getting ready to just pre prep dinner. What do we got here, Jeff? A couple of racks of lamb. Lamb ribs right here. So, this is not the typical bread and buff that you're accustomed to, which is like a slab of meat with some salt on it. <laughs> That's what we normally do. Pringle. Yeah, Jeff likes to take it to an extreme, some some canned Pringles for the eggs. Aaron really likes that. But um, anyways, we have la uh, racks of lamb. What Corn is off it? the cob with uh, prosciutto and oh, bacon, along with some herbs, rosemary, <laughs> thyme, sage. These are some serious people here with serious problems, but <laughs> we're pretty excited for dinner. So just kind of want to show you what you guys, uh, what we're into. This is the only reason I come. I'll never cook this stuff for myself. These are useful people to use to make good food for me. <laughs> so anyways, I'll show you guys. We're what we got friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're friends. <laughs>
Okay, guys, here is what we got going on. Perfectly cooked lamb racks. We're getting ready to head in. You can see it's cold out. This is the chief executor of this process. So we're going to take these in, and uh, I'll tell you how they are when we're inside the tin and it's warm. So Jeff just left, but he also made this awesome side here with some bacon and corn. I'm not sure if anything else is in it. Um, you can see here is this lamb chopped up. So we literally have lamb, ra or, uh, lamb racks with some uh, corn and um, bacon mix. Totally awesome. Can't wait to dig into this. I'll let you guys know how it tastes here in just a minute. This is a partially eaten uh, rack of lamb. 100% delicious. Thank you, Jeff, for your contribution. Cheers. Very beautifully done. Um, my compliments to the chef. This is awesome. And also the... the uh, Corn and bacon, quite tasty. Being out in the middle of nowhere and eating really, really good food is quite good. What do you think, Aaron? Delicious, as usual, Jeff. <laughs> There's nothing left on the bone. He's going to eat the bone next. You wait. So we are getting in here anyways. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. We are living high on the not hog, but lamb tonight. And uh, we'll see what we have in store for us. Ah! Hey. hey, look at that. <laughs> Okay, Jeff and I are, uh, or Jeff already went to bed, but <laughs> me and Aaron are here getting ready to head in on in, and, uh, you know, we're feeling pretty tired, we're feeling good, but uh, I think it's about time to tuck it in for the night, so we'll see where Jeff is tomorrow. He left about, what, maybe a couple <laughs> hours ago? He was a early ariser into bed, if that makes any sense, so we'll see where he He's at in the morning, but we're getting ready to tap out here for the night and go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. First thing morning, waking up. I actually slept super well. It was nice and toasty. I put... Uh, I put uh, my quilt on top of my mummy bag, so I was like double insulated, and uh, you know, kept me very warm. The only thing that was unpleasant was getting out, so um, didn't end up lighting up my um, my hot tent because it was late by the time I went to bed, and so I just didn't want to fiddle with it. But uh, we were, I was pretty warm anyways. Um, but gonna get up and make some breakfast, have some fun. Jeff has breakfast going on. Check out sausage with onions. We got a whole plate of bacon here. What do you call these? Potato balls? I don't know. But yeah, potato, <laughs> potato meat. I don't know. <laughs> They're like, uh, he pressed them. Hash and then browns, I guess. Basic, yeah, hash browns, but super yummy hash browns made to perfection. We're well, just like drinking our coffee, hanging out. There's like condensation all over the inside, so it's like a mini jungle in here. It's kind of fun. <laughs> But uh, we're going to enjoy breakfast and continue to do what we did yesterday. We just hang out in a tent in the middle of the woods. We could be anywhere. <laughs> sure. Jeff and I going for a little drive in his sweet pimped out Jeep. Very nice. But just... Uh, out riding, enjoying the forest and the roads. A little slick out, but just an expert driver, so hopefully we don't get stuck. <laughs> Got out to a pretty sweet overview. Look at that. Just the frosted trees. It's going to take my glass out, but it's almost blinding with them off. Look at the clouds off in the background. What a, what a beautiful winter wonderland. So glad we made it out this weekend pretty cool we're so we're going to keep on going up i guess to the top of this mountain and check out the top but just stopped here and we're just just taking it in
So we're out here at this pretty cool overlook. Just check out how cool, I mean, I took some pictures of it, but even if you can hear how it sounds, just so awesome. Uh, just like, you know, like I said, a winter wonderland. And you can see like, this is the wind side. So the wind's coming up over this valley and up over this ridge and bring all that moisture with it. And then it's just, it looks like someone came up here and lacquered the front side of this, uh, this log here and then on the back side it's there's absolutely nothing because it's on the wind side so and just check out this pine tree just i don't know if i'm going to do it justice for what it looks like but it's it is just so awesome you just it's a weird weather condition you don't see that often there's got to be moisture in the air it's got to be warm enough for water to precipitate on things and and um but but get cold after the fact enough so that it freezes solid but just uh, a winter wonderland what do you think jeff thank you but i got a future in meteorology <laughs> all the wrong words and all the wrong places <laughs>